Welcome back to Between the Lines, brought to you by Ordira. I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land on which the podcast is made, the Yagara and Yagurabal people, and pay our respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Bell, we're back. We had a little hiatus. We did. We had two, what, week off? Week off. Little boss. But we're back. Um, we just want to let you guys know it was a pretty big week. Obviously, lost the grand final, the boys. Um, yeah, the club was in all sorts in of morning, Melbourne. In morning. We, could, we, couldn't, we couldn't get in the studio, but we've made it up because we have a very, very special guest today. We have the medal herself, Emma Zilke. Emma, welcome. Thanks for having me, guys. It's a real privilege. 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 She's I made it on. Yeah. Very excited to have you and chat a little bit about, um, a little bit about you and your uh, mystery box later. <laughs> Mystery box. She called it a mystery box. You should rename it. Uh, But yeah, we thought we'd have you on because, you you know, you're just everything that stands for Queensland footy, I reckon, and it's Mm. the Q clash this week. So let's have you on. And it's actually, do you know what it is this week, Emma? I think I know what you're going to say. It's Kathy and Al's 50 games. I know, and that makes me even more excited to be here sharing it with you. Honestly, we're we're in this journey together. People keep coming up to Kathy. They're like, oh, my God, I didn't know it was your 50th game this week. And I, I look at them, I'm like. It's our 50th game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that right. Um, oh, I can't believe it. But, yeah, in terms of the last two weeks, I guess our club isn't loving Collingwood at the moment. Um, no. A no. Of, bit of bad blood there, to be honest. A bit, oh. bit upset, but. Been a stressful. <laughs> that's why we love footy. You play each week and we've got a chance to yeah, redeem it. But that's um, it. What have you guys been up to in the last week? You know, we've had a little bit of a break, but just any anything been happening? Um, well, it's a little bit quieter around work at the moment, just the footy department's on leave now, obviously, but, um, yeah, still involved with you guys, but yeah, just for me personally, just preparing for 2024, which is not far away. Getting ready. It's coming around. What have you been up to, Belle? Um, went to the the coast on the weekend. Yeah. Yeah, saw the family, which was nice. Bit of downtime. Bit of downtime. Bit of reset. I needed the reset. Reset, I've got it and I'm back. I'm back with the vibes. I was, I tried to reset yesterday. I did a float tank for the first time. How'd that go? (laughs) It was a bit hard. (laughs) It's harder than I thought. (laughs) Lay there for an hour (laughs) floating around. With your own thoughts. Yeah. It was, um, you know, you have a shower before you go in and then like, I didn't realise, like, obviously all my face was still wet and then I was laying in the in the salt water because that keeps you afloat, but then I couldn't touch my face. Yeah. So then I had to get out, wipe my face, get back in. <laughs> I remember. And I was pushing myself around in the bath. It's so weird floating, eh? Like, it is a weird feeling. Like, it, it does feel nice, but I think, yeah, not I'm it. still working working on that. Do they, they have that little spray bottle? I remember my oh, first I one. I went in and they're like, oh, here's a little spray bottle in case you get salt water in your eyes. And I'm thinking... Who would get it in their eyes? And then it finishes and I get, I get scared at the end and splash all this water in my eye. And I'm like, eyes closed, <laughs> frantically looking for this bottle to spray my eyes with the water. But, uh, oh, that's God. cool. Yeah, okay. that's that's what I've been up to. Um, but moving on, you know, it's been a big couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Resetting. We have Indigenous Round this weekend as well. So there's a lot going on. Um, we get to where our old Indigenous jumper. So yep. Courtney's, um, she had the jersey design from last year, but we've there's a slight change because Indigenous round does go over the two weeks. So both um, teams get to wear their... Mm-hmm. Um, so same design, great design, Courtney. Yeah, it's a really good one. And we've got that navy dark blue and then we've got the light blue, yeah. um, which is really awesome. Can't yeah. wait to wear it. Absolutely. But, but we're in the navy this week, so... Navy this week. So look out for it. It's a big day. Um, there is a referendum on Saturday as well, so it's a pretty important, um, I think, week... Um, as a part of that Indigenous round too. So moving on to our review, we've sort of got to get this over and oh, done with. Get it over. Mm. Get it over the game done. that, you know, <laughs> slipped away. Yeah. What do you think of it, Silks? Um, yeah, I think obviously we've gone through the review now and <laughs> you guys would probably be a little bit disappointed in um, obviously we covered off on all the stats and we're in the green for pretty much everything. Um, yeah. Pretty much just come down to kicking straight, I reckon, because um, you actually played a really good brand of footy. It's just, yeah, unfortunate we didn't have the accuracy on the night. Mm. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agreed. I think um, still trying to get that four quarter footies going. You know, we yeah. have just such great moments um, and just, yeah, trying to build a consistent game is what we're looking for. But a bit of accuracy would have been nice, just mm. even, even one. Even yeah. one would be awesome. It was but, frustrating. Yeah. Like the next, I remember the next day I was just, so annoyed. I was watching the game, just so frustrated. And then I watched it back the, the following day after and I was like, oh, we actually played some really good footy. It's yeah. Just, yeah. You know, um, you know, it's still good to see though. And I think, yeah, like you say, is we are building on to get that consistency coming into the back end of the season mm-hmm. too. So each week it's, you know, we get a little <laughs> bit better, a little bit better. Yeah. So it's it was coming, good to coming. see that you started stronger because the last couple mm. of weeks we've had some slow starts and obviously we've had 
a few new players come in, so they're still adjusting to their roles. So yeah. I feel like you're building, and yes. like we're not, we haven't got it all right right now. But yeah. I think by the end of the season, like you're going to be peaking at the right time. I yeah, think. that's what really I think. Really challenging. We're learning finals. a bit of adversity, yeah. a bit of grit as a team. Yeah. So that, that's just what we're doing at the moment. But um, yeah, we, we were talking about who stood out, and um, I wrote down the post because what did they get? Four touches. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah they, they yeah. <laughs> big post was working hard. <laughs> oh, he was probably moving as well. I reckon. <laughs> Um, but oh yeah, it's sort of But anyone else stand out to you guys? Um, I thought Kathy, like oh. obviously you have your uh, the highest work rate on, on our team most of the time. But Thank um you. we're working extremely hard and there's some moments where you just try and inspire the team. But yeah, across the board it's uh, not everyone played the their most mm-hmm. amazing games, but yeah, mostly the team contributed, but mm. yeah, just didn't get the job done. Yeah, mm. I thought um Tali stepped up this week. I know she's sort of been working on a few specific things in training, just building on her game um, over the last few weeks. And I thought she really um, stood out, like I think, and she took the game on a fair bit too, which is really good to see yeah. her getting involved and she's getting dangerous and, you know, and she's kicking inside 50 and getting on the run. So I really thought that was awesome from her and like a bit of a step forward to, mm-hmm. um, yeah, getting dangerous. Yeah, I love that. You love that from Tiles. Yeah, definitely. And... um that's, I reckon we'll wrap it up. Are you happy with that? We'll, yeah. I'm done with our wrap game. I'm done with our game. Right. I reckon just go. On to the next one. On to the next one. OTC. Yeah, that's the one. Um, <laughs> We've got the Suns, which is actually a pretty good matchup because mm. they're just under us. What are they? Six worth fifth by percentage. So we're saying four wins, two losses. Hate saying that are out we loud. Fifth? We're fifth. I thought we were fourth. Oh, I thought you were fourth in Okay, we could be. We're fourth. Yeah, I wrote it's, it down. It's Adelaide, Melbourne. We need to fact check that. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Adelaide, North, Melbourne. Yes. Us. Suns are sitting oh. fifth. That's yeah. what I wrote. Yeah. Um, still in that I top know. four. <laughs> the info right here. Yeah, I did get it right. I, re- I said it wrong. <laughs> but anyway, it's a, it's going to be a good matchup. Like, I'm reading a lot about them and they're saying mm. they're really feeling belief that they can beat us this year and um, go head to head. So yeah. <laughs> it's going to be. There's always a little bit of extra feistiness in yeah. the Q clash. So, um, yeah, I reckon it's going to be a cracking game and I think, yeah, both teams are going to be ready for it but you just got to play the sort of straight bat at the moment and make sure you have that, you know, controlled aggression. Yeah, yeah. But it is going to be hot for sure. Yeah, Definitely. absolutely. They certainly have some good players that have hit, um, I guess, more consistent form probably this year, mm. building over the last couple of years and I think that... You know, the consistency is, is a really important thing, I think, in teams getting wins. So Even as a team, I feel like they're running so much better. Like, yeah. Yep. Just look heaps fitter, um, running really well, which is good to see. But mm. we'll see who's a queen. Outrun them. The queen of Queensland who's, at the end. Ooh. <laughs> who gets a trophy? Um, is there anyone uh, that we're looking out for that you – or well, for the last few weeks who – Singles doing the tagging. Yeah. You know, they've talked about that a fair bit in the media. Yeah. yeah. She, and she's doing a very good job. Mm. Like she's not just negating the oppo, but mm. she's also getting a fair bit of the footy herself. So that's probably the perfect tagger. As you'd know, mm. you've, you started your career sort of similar, but mm. now you're obviously built your own game. But, yeah, it's, pre- it's pretty good by Lucy from given that role. It's probably – you can probably talk about mm. it a bit more, but it's a bloody hard yeah. tag and role yeah, to do. Yeah, it is a hard thing to do, definitely. And – but clearly it's it's helped her sort of build her game too, I think. So mm. you only sort of get those benefits. Um, Row bottom, she's always sort of a strong, yep. you know, strong body, strong player in there and building her her game too. So I think she's number one in the comp for contested possession. So is she? Like she? I think she has 111 actually from the whole this oh, year. Oh, well, that's one, one. one. Yeah, one, one, one. It was angel numbers. That's why I remember seeing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, yeah, no, she's great. And what she averaging, 27 disposals a game. So Yeah, yeah. she's and lifted her game. She's, oh, she's very similar to Brie Davey um, mm. and at yeah. such a young age. I can see That's her true. tearing the comp apart soon. Yeah. So you two have a All big right. job. Big job. On the stop weekend. that. Very <laughs> big job. Stop it. I don't let's like not, it. Let's stop talking them <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Let's stop talking them up. No, but we yeah. would negate them. Yeah, they're yeah. going to come up against you two I on know. your milestone. Yeah. yeah, I know. 100 games together. Yeah, that's, oh, that's right. Great. You and I, what have they got? But yeah, we, 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 we 20. Like 20 <laughs> <laughs> combined. <laughs> but um, yeah, we, we love playing in Metro. Yeah. I feel like it's another home for us. It was our home last yeah. year. so Yeah, it's a great field. It's great ground. I'm excited. Yeah. Yep. Excited it's to get good. back there. 100%. Um, we touched on it before about how it might get a bit feisty. I don't know if you've noticed the games lately, but there's been a bit of push and shove. Yeah, there like, has. Yeah. Our game, Across even, the comp. Yeah, even t- in the game, um, Suns just played Tigers and there was a bit of beef. Yeah, I did see it. Into um, it. I actually love it. Yeah, like, me too. It just shows the passion that you all have, obviously, and you go into battle with each yeah. other and just 
picking each other yeah. off. Like, there was a few on the weekend with your game, just pulling each other apart. Yeah. Yeah. Like, don't do anything stupid, yeah, girl. Don't touch my teammate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one point where I had to take the ruck again, guys. <laughs> oh, was... How many hit outs have you had? <laughs> <laughs> it was a hard one. There was Sabs and Brie Davy there, and then everyone else is in a fight, and, <laughs> and he's throwing the ball. I was like, what am I going to do here? <laughs> just I grab it and run, that. Kat. Yeah, because you were in the bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Tay was like, I don't know. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> but, yeah, I think that there's a lot of heat in, in the games at the moment because there's some – uh, it's a bit more even, I think, yeah. and some teams are getting upset over other teams. So yeah. there is that bit of a um, – I don't know, it's – Mixing up it a little bit more. so Yeah, and there's been more rivalries now. Like we've yeah, got a bit more true. history yeah. and I suppose there's been a lot of player movement. So then there's yeah. always someone, mm. ex-teammates that you're yeah. coming up against within the squad. So it's actually, yeah, I think it was on the weekend, Courtney Jones, like she oh, kicked a goal and got right. straight, straight yeah. into them, which yeah. is really, I love seeing it, like as a spectator. <laughs> yeah. It's actually cool to watch. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> encourage yeah. no. Don't encourage it. Don't encourage it. Well, oh. we do have a few fan questions actually from the weekends. We had a little... Um, or dear uh, pop-up studio uh, at Brighton Homes. And, I mean, the crowd was going off. So we've got a few fans. We'll we'll play the questions for you and then I think they're addressed to us. Oh, but also, awesome. we're going to have to answer them. I'm excited. I'm so excited. first one is from Aurora Hodges. Hey, Belle and Kathy, congrats on your 50th. Can't wait to see you out there. Who's going to take the biggest specky or the biggest tackle? Oh, I don't know. Who to hedge my bets on? <laughs> Let's go, girls. <laughs> Is it out of me and you? Or? Yeah, out of me and you. Oh, damn. I was thinking Courtney Holder. But oh, for full, what? The tackle, yeah. She's yeah, feisty the, um, tackle. Yeah. You're a pretty I'm good tackle. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. you're hard Sorry, to break yeah, a tackle. Sorry, yeah. Are you going you for the specky? specky? Or maybe I'll go for the specky and you go for the tackle. <laughs> okay. Right, I've we'll matched up it. on you tackling in pre-season, so I'm, I'm <laughs> going you. <laughs> All right, next one is Emily Carter. Um, I'd like to know who is your motivation. Good luck. Oh, motivation. I, well, i got one here. Okay. Um, I think, Great. like, a lot of girls would say it too, but your family. I mm. think um, when I was playing my Hawthorne game, I just had this big realisation about playing my family and um, playing for them and I'm not doing it alone. And, like, yeah, I felt like I had a really good game and, yeah, it just really sparked something for me to my family. But also, Conor McGregor, sometimes I watch his motivation videos before I play um, and I do a little bit of this. If sometimes you you're walking around the house. <laughs> you do, yeah. Because so um, <laughs> that just that energy. G's me up, so... Probably those those two. Love that. <laughs> what about you, Kath? Um, I think my motivation is just the team. Like I think, you know, we like I guess it's probably similar. You say they're the family. Like we have that sort of family um, sisterhood here. So that's always something that, you know, I really want to play well for them and, um, you know, I guess inspire them as well and bring them along too. So that's sort of something that I really think about. Um, okay, that's really nice. I'd want to choose that as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right, nice. number three, we have Michaela and Ruby. Hi, Bella, Kathy. It's Michaela and Ruby. Our question is, what is your favourite go-to meal before a game? Go Lions. Ooh, go Lions. Love um, it. Bella? Chicken pesto pasta made by Nat Grider. <laughs> Garlic bread. Love that. Pine nuts on top. Is that the night before? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly the same as mine. Are you kidding? Exactly the same. And I have it on game day too. Come here, give me that. <laughs> I don't know if you heard the handshake, but 50 <laughs> games, we're just in sync, oh, We're in sync. Yeah. yeah, chicken pesto pasta. Yeah, always have it the night before and then always have it for lunch as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I love pasta for lunch, in. yeah. Do, do you remember yours, Emma? I was always just bag bowl and garlic bread. Yeah, like yeah. every Carb time. load. Yeah, yeah. Just we love the carbs. Yeah. yeah, load up. Um, oh, we have another special question. Ooh, special, special guest guess question. Okay. Ooh. G'day, guys. Craig here. Uh, long time fan of the pod, as you know, and a guest in its previous life. And, and I think I lost the quiz. Anyway, that's old news. Um, congratulations on your 50th this, this week. It's uh, pretty exciting, actually. Have got a couple of questions for you, though. Belle, I want to know, in life after footy, when are you going to open up that bohemian crystal store on the sunny coast to get your incense and sarongs and whatever else you need? And Kath, if you could choose another doubles partner in the world to play tennis with, who would it be? <laughs> nice one, Craig. That's great. Wow. Hard hitters. Oh, okay. Um, I don't even know. You're <laughs> shocked with that one, Craig. Thanks, Craig. And yeah, well, look. You know, is he trying to get another call up for yeah. another <laughs> Honestly, secondary? Um, you know, he speaks very well, so maybe he should. Um, okay. Oh, what was the first one? Doubles partner. Yeah. Well, that was the second one. 
So Craig and I, we did win. This was before I was actually drafted. I think I was still a train on, but we had a tennis tournament. Do you guys oh, remember? Oh, Yeah, a Yeah, UQ. yeah dress and ups. Yeah, Craig and I were uh, partners and we did take out the, the trophy. Oh. He's so, very good at tennis. Yeah. My favourite tennis player is Roger Federer, though. So if I had to pick someone, sorry, Craig. Uh, another <laughs> European, uh, Switzerland. Oh, yeah. Controversy. Wait, is he from Switzerland? Roger Federer? No idea. He's Swiss. He's Swiss. He's Swiss, yeah. Swiss. yeah. 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 Um, there you go. So you'd be one-upped by Roger Federer. So, look, don't take it to heart, Craig. Yeah. Close matchup. Um, Close match up. I don't even know where to begin with the question, Craig. Like the sarongs have got me. I've, I've never worn <laughs> yeah, sarong. Maybe like you the crystals as well. Like, you did just maybe. say angel numbers before. I did, but so you threw yeah, yourself under the bus. He then. did. Well, maybe Craig, if you want to invest um, in me and my new business on the coast, <laughs> okay, uh, I'll happily open it up whenever, whenever you want. Um, I'll do it. Do it in your favour. What's your like, pitch? What's your pitch? Uh, my pitch is, come on down, Craig. Like when you come in, I'll pump you up. I'll have your f- photo on the wall. Have the girls. Do a little bit of a card reading. Yeah, for a little him. card reading. Let you know how you're going. You know, I'll have a place you can put your psych- your bike up. Um, no, I, don't, I can't even sell it because I don't think my heart's in it. But <laughs> I'll open it up if you want me to, Craig. <laughs> the side biz. Yeah, but um, no, no. that was a cool little oh, segment. That's so, so nice. Yeah, no, thank you. We are, we are obviously really excited. Like to play our fifty games, Belle. Like mm-hmm. I don't know how do you feel about it. Like it actually feels weird. Fifty games. Like it's it's it is a good like great yeah. achievement. Not good. It's a great yeah. achievement because some people don't get to the level that you guys have and performing at the level that you guys have. So you should be very, very mm. proud. And I actually feel privileged to be a small part of your journey. And obviously... Oh, hit the bike. I got, <laughs> so much, I got a bit emotional. <laughs> obviously, we're premiership teammates. So it's yeah. um, really nice that you've been able to achieve this. So. Yeah. And especially really cool. given your story, you've both got different pathways. Mm. But, yeah, it's a very inspiring both you and you in the way that you've gotten the, to the 50 games. So be very, very proud of that. Oh, thank you. Thanks, yeah. Emma. I know, we've played every game together, Belle. I love that. It's so good. It's good. It's good I played luck. my first game with you, a footy ever. At Wilston Grange. Wilston Grange. I'll never forget it. It's yeah. your, your field. What do we call it? Um, Spark, Spark, Spark Park. Park. Mm. Let's get sparky. God, some good memories. <laughs> um, All right. But, well, yeah, if, if you want to do a question like that, yeah. um, just head over to the Odira, Odira studio at our games. And, yeah, you can be on the potty too. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> hey, Lions fans, we've got some exciting news to share with you today. Our official healthy hearing partner, Ordera, is offering Lions fans 20% off all their products. These headphones are a total game changer. Listening to music or even our podcast is crystal clear with the sound that's tailored to your unique hearing profile. You can even watch the TV with the volume at the perfect level for you. Tune into the game and hear the mighty Lions roar like you're right there with us in the stadium. So Brisbane Lion members, visit our members benefits page to claim your exclusive 20% off discount on any Ordera product. Join the club today and feel connected with Odira. Now, Emma, we have your starter pack on the mystery box. <laughs> tell us what. Same thing. Yeah. 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 Tell us all about you. So, Belle, do you want to start it off? I reckon you kick it off, Kath. Okay. First <laughs> one on the list, aqua blue. Yes. That's a big tick. That's my favourite colour. I'm obsessed with it. It's everywhere in the house. If you come to a okay. house, you'll see it everywhere. Like, you said that and I was like, I've never seen Emma wear aqua blue. No, she loves it. Do I, you wear it? I've got shirts. I've yep. got shorts. Oh I've got God. my water bottles. Oh, this one Show me sort me. of okay. aqua But then I've got another blue one. Like that material. Is it like an aqua? teal, the teal. I've got a teal So blue. is aqua blue, like, is it just it, not aqua? It's sort of, like, it is more like teal. Light blue. Teal colour. Teal. Mm. Okay. But lot, like blue. Like aqua's got a hint of the... Green, which means yeah. it's a bit more tealy. Yeah. yeah. Nah. All right. Big so tick. Yeah. Big, big tick. Perfect. Got it. And we've described the colour for you guys. So I hope <laughs> you enjoy it. You all that. know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've got the high bun. Yeah. It's. I've changed it up a little bit. Well, but like high obviously. Or low? Yeah. Like I've I've mixed it up. Like before many years ago, like I wouldn't even touch my hair differently. But now it's a bit. What was your old school? What was your old school hair? Because I feel like your hair is a bit. I've never. You don't. Have you ever seen her hair out? No, actually. Although I've seen photos of um, the old school Emma's hair, the emo, oh, the emo face. Yeah, geez, I've had some. You've had terrible, some terrible. We need to get a, mon- a buzz we cut. We need to get a montage together on these. <laughs> God. Yeah, I'd go into hibernation after that. But, no, I had, like, a full shave and, oh, my God, don't oh. ever, ever do that because it took, I think, 12 months to grow back. It's probably still doing it a little bit. Like, <laughs> it, it, it was terrible. Like, 
just uh, looks no, way no. better now, obviously. It does, it does. <laughs> and every time I see it out, like, I'll walk past her and she'll be brushing it after a shower. I'm like, let me see, let me see. And she always has her head over, like, brushing it. And I'm like, Miley Cyrus, it honestly looks <laughs> – Flowers music video when her hair's out, that is Emma. Like, uh, it literally looks like that. So I had to put it in. It, I had to put it no in. one will really ever see me with my hair out. It's just not, it's not so it's, a good look. It's got to be in the mystery box. Yeah, it's right cool. there. Yeah. Yeah, yep. done. Done. Next <laughs> one is claiming you're the funniest person we know. <laughs> Yeah, pretty true. <laughs> yeah, I actually tell us like, a joke. Come on. Sometimes I sit at, on the couch and I'm just <laughs> like, she I reckon, like, I reckon a few people have told me I'm their funniest friend, and you guys, you, you I've told you, you that. but you keep bringing it up, and it makes me not. Sometimes want to I sit on the couch and I'm like, is everyone else as funny as I am, or is it just me? Like, like I wonder if people are like missing out on having a fun friend like me because I am. Just bringing the joy. You're funny. You are funny. Just, you're very fast. Quick-witted. Quick-witted, yeah. 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 I was no, pretty good, good out on the field too, just throwing chat. Ah. Yeah. I've thrown a little bit of chat as runner but not too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's a yay? Yeah, I'll oh, pick yay. She's yeah. obviously going to yay. Yeah. Honestly. It's obvious. I'm not going to deny it. Um, I've got, I had to put it in. Like you can't not now. I've got Agnes slash Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Agnes and Lenny, yeah. I'll, she's they're, your, they're your kids. Yep. They're, they're your kids. They're the kids, yep. I'm obsessed with... Both of them. Agnes, probably more in love with her now because she's mm. my mm. little baby yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, big tick. Yeah. Okay. We love Beautiful. the puppies. <laughs> we do. And the next one here. Jeez, you've got a few in this Yeah, box. I did. I just oh, I can't you get to from. Uh, no handyman skills <laughs> other than mowing the lawns. <laughs> we literally <laughs> said that the other day. Like, yeah, I'm a I'm a – I'm pretty bad on the tools. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to lie. Like, I can't even bloody hang a hang a frame up straight. I've had to get a builder in for that. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Just a bit of air tasker? Yeah, yeah. I've had Taj come over, obviously, with the electricity, yeah. um, which is great. Fix me oven. You um, hear her do the Ikea. Like, she'll get someone from Ikea and you just hear swear words, swear words, swear words, swear words from the living room. I've got great ideas, but then I can't actually do anything. So, with the ideas, girl. Them, so, yeah. Yay? But, yeah. yeah. Um, and now I've got getting everything you know off TikTok or TikTok little desserts. <laughs> from a book. From, from an article she read. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell the girls, oh, I read this article oh. the other day. <laughs> it's actually from TikTok. <laughs> got the references yeah. and Or everything. she'll have this like protein jelly in the fridge and she'll be eating it as a dessert. <laughs> I get some random recipes <laughs> off of TikTok. It's <laughs> low cows. Um, but then the girls will send me reels that I'd seen like three months ago and I'm oh. like, guys, I've already seen this on TikTok. Yeah, I've, I've stopped sending out reels now because that's what she <laughs> says. Sure. God, how much time do you spend on TikTok? Um, I've got that limit and it's an hour a day. Okay. So That's a lot. Just, like I don't That's often some serious read reading. it. I don't often read it. It gets about 100 articles. <laughs> it's very knowledgeable TikTok, like yeah. I'm not going to lie. Maybe some um, building TikToks or yeah. something. Oh, so that's, yeah, yeah. That should okay. come up with my algorithm. I'll start yeah. searching how to hang a frame. Yep. There we go. So you, you like the mystery box? Yeah, no, you've that's done good. really okay. well. Yeah. I wasn't. I was expecting pretty good because obviously you know me yeah. very well. But mm. Yeah. And I talk about you all the time to Kathy, yeah, so she does too. Nailed so. it. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Um, all right. Take it away, Kath. <clears throat> well, we want to find out a little bit more about you, Emma. Um, we've got a little bit of a story here from Craig. Mm. Mayor. You might want to explain Mayor this of one. Bundaberg. Mayor That's all I've got. Apparently you were the mayor of Bundaberg yeah, for a day. Yeah, I, I actually, when we won the flag. You were the mayor. <laughs> she was well, the mayor. There's not a whole lot of stuff that goes on in Bundaberg, to be fair. So when someone's come from Bundaberg, especially in the AFL space because it's yeah. just NRL dominated, um, they, from day one though, I'd, I have to say Bundaberg, like media and everyone really got around me because it was just like the Bundy girl making it big in Brisbane. <laughs> And, um, Big city going out. Yeah, like we won the flag and obviously we got the keys to the city in Brisbane but Bundaberg jumped onto that and they were like, we want to give you the keys to Bundy, um, you can be mayor for the day. <laughs> <laughs> like what do you want to do? I'm like, oh, like I don't know. Like what is there to do in Bundy? <laughs> Went to the Bundy Rum Factory. <laughs> they, they, yeah, look, God. Oh, God, we'll get, we'll get that picture photo. up with you guys. That's a terrible photo. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Was the mayor of Bundy for the day? Didn't they even um, the ginger beer up there, Bundaberg ginger beer? They had a yeah. Um, they they printed out some like um, they had like a premier the premiership photo on on the bottle of um, ginger beer. There was one of Craig and I holding the cup, which I gave him, which was really nice. Which is in his house but every time I go there, I see it. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. Like Bundy just got around me, and um, obviously I grew up there, so it was I so proud. That. Really nice. There it is. 
court Full showing us key the key. The city. That, we'll since, the city. that has since slipped, so it oh. wasn't <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of qualities. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, very, very special. Oh, oh, cool. Love that. Well, you, you did touch on it. Like you're from Bundy. Um, you loved soccer, right? You loved the Matildas. Yeah. Um, yeah. And now you you came to Brisbane, played footy. Um, you were at the start of the AFLW. Um, can, you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I played soccer all all my time growing up. Then my dad sent me a pic the other day actually of me being the goalkeeper and I'm like, oh, that's fair. Like I wasn't that great at, at soccer but then – Slowly, because I played with my brother, um, slowly got better at soccer and then played it throughout my whole time I was in Bundy and then moved to Brisbane after high school and got over soccer and was like, one of my friends is just like, oh, why don't we play AFL? And I'm like, oh, I hate that sport. Oh, like, oh, oh no. No, 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 I know. That's why I've That's come a long way. <laughs> no, you, you love footy. You live and breathe it. Yeah, and um, I went down to my local footy club, which was Morningside at the time, and um, literally went to one training session. was so nervous but absolutely loved it and never looked back. And, um, yeah, here I am and, yeah, took played AFL, what, probably 10 years before the actual AFLW came in. Damn. Um, wow. I'm show my age yeah. now. But, Experience. Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's come a very, very long way and I'm so grateful to have been a part of it because when they did announce it, I was doing the math and I'm like, oh, I might be a bit too old Like by the time it comes in and then Gil sort of bought it to 2017 because originally it was 2020 and I'm mm. like, yes, I might actually get a chance. And then, yeah, obviously got picked up by the Lions, which mm-hmm. was really, really special. What, what would you say really is the cool. difference from the start to, to now? Because oh. I feel like it's changed a lot mm. yeah. personally in my time, but yes. here you are. Yeah, there's <laughs> so many differences. Like, There's been so much progress. Obviously it's been amazing. Like, I mean, I used to have to go and buy my own strapping tape on the way to training if I remembered and one of the girls would strap my ankles or, like, if even if you, like, you know, roll your ankle, you wouldn't even get it checked. Like, I was just old school. Like, just strap it up, you'll be all right. Strap it up. Yeah, um, so go. nowadays you guys are like, oh, I've got a small finger on my <laughs> Just strap it up. <laughs> Me, I've got <laughs> ten <laughs> fingers <laughs> strapped up. <laughs> just play on, girls. Um, but, like, obviously the resources and everything, like, the clubs now, especially in Queensland, like, they're all so supportive. They all want a women's team, which is fantastic, and the growth of the game here has been amazing. I think we smashed the numbers for participation this year for Queensland footy, which is incredible. And now you see all these young girls pick up the footy at such an early age. Like, mm-hmm. before it was probably they are coming in 15, 16. Now it's, like, eight or nine. There's under nines league for girls. Mm-hmm. And yep. It's just incredible to so see. So cute. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's so cool. I love seeing, like, when we've done those – the under nine, um, pretty like a line. Yeah, 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 yeah. they yeah. love the that. Kids are so cute, yeah. and they just love it, and they have so much fun. And just from that, like you guys, and I was a part of them as well. But like, they just now can see, like, they didn't know that this isn't, this didn't exist. Yeah. So it's just the norm for them now. That's and true. each and every one of the girls that pull on a jersey, like these young girls, like mm. I want to be that person now. And yeah. like, I didn't have that when I was growing up. Yeah, I honestly, didn't even have. I don't even think the Matildas were on the TV at that time. I. Just must have read books or something, but didn't really have someone to look. Didn't have TikTok. Didn't have TikTok. (laughs) (laughs) Didn't have Nokia (laughs) thirty (laughs) three (laughs) fifty. With Snake, that's about it. Snake, that's it. Oh, Oh, that's so cool. Because there was actually on the weekend there was quite a few um, footy teams there, like younger, um, younger ones, which was really cool, and um, you could just hear them. Screaming on the sidelines, just cheering, and then yeah. even listening, watching the the game back, you could just hear them like whenever screaming. Dakota gets near the ball, oh, it's a they high look, pitched like squeal. Goes, and yeah, I love really it. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm excited. It makes me get all excited to kick a goal. I guess um, yeah. Yeah. it's a, an unbelievable atmosphere here on Saturday night, which is like something that we haven't had before. Yeah. We've not played a Saturday night in Queensland, mm-hmm. even that we haven't had a facility. But yeah, it was really cool atmosphere. I encourage everyone to get along to those games in particular because there was that mm. light show as well. Yeah. And yeah. just like, geez, we've come so far. Yeah, it's yeah. really so nice true. to actually think that. <laughs> yeah. And um, you have your, had your, well, had or have your coaching scholarship. Um, can you tell us just a little bit about that and how that sort of, I guess, helped you develop uh, into the coaching space? Yeah, I think after retiring, I was always planning on. Um, you know, I had to stay in footy somehow because it's just like my passion and I love it. And uh, coaching is the next best thing. Like you still have that competitiveness. And um, I I got granted the women's coaching scholarship, which um, 11 clubs have at the moment. And it's for um, a female to be hired full time within the football program of their club. And um, everyone's got different roles. And my role is the 
um, head coach of the female academy. So I'm looking after the under 18s, 16s and 14s and ultimately trying to develop them into um, hopefully getting drafted one day either by the Lions or um, the competition. Mm -hmm. Um, And, yeah, I've just found a newfound love for um, trying to help these girls along their journey and it's just um, something different. It's a different feeling just being a part of a little part of their journey and just thinking, oh, I really, really hope they succeed. So I'm, like, really invested in them Mm -hmm. now, which has been fantastic and I love being here at the club learning from from the AFLW program and then I'm in with the AFL program, sitting with their coaches and sitting in on their meetings and it's just an unbelievable um, job and I am count my lucky stars every day <laughs> that I actually have this job. Um, but, yeah. I love um, – obviously you gave me um, – oh, what did you do? You got me a coaching gig, you know, yeah. assistant coach with you for the um, L3 you know. girls. Yeah. Yeah, yep. you know, <laughs> um, which I was very grateful for but honestly I just learnt so much. I obviously have come through the academy – and it is so different. And I think the girls having you there to be able to teach the culture, I guess, of what we have in the women's program and to see it um, bleed through to the academy was just awesome this year. Um, obviously, you touched on it, Kath, like sisterhood. Mm. Um, these girls, this this um, program just gone, really brought into that. Um, make your teammates great, plays a team, which I, like I never got to experience, I guess, um, growing up. I was just kind of trying to stand out, I guess. Um, so yeah. it's really good to see Emma. Like you, you're doing a great job and... Yeah. Oh, thanks, Phil. <laughs> Honestly, you are. I love that. <laughs> love that. Um, you just touched on retirement before. Was How did you find that? Like I know it can be pretty hard transitioning coming out of that. Like did you sort of struggle at all or was it – how did you find that whole process? Yeah, um, if I'm honest, I, I did struggle. Like as an athlete, like you you pretty much identify as that footballer um, and as soon as you retire, that, that sort of stops. Like you're, you're not – needing to be somewhere on a schedule Mm. you're not needing to you're not in the group chats like it it goes a bit radio silence for a bit and um I did struggle like obviously I finished on a high massive high winning the premiership and we carried on with partying for (laughs) well and truly yeah two or three months and then um yeah it just all sort of slows down a bit and you're just um wondering what you do with yourself and you you go through a little bit of struggles and I know people talk about it a, a fair bit um and you have to get yourself motivated and whatnot. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I've, I've obviously um, gotten over that now. I'm like, I'm going to Bali next week. Yeah. I can do she's what I want. <laughs> yeah, she's got she's the free schedule. The, she's only the runner um, now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not on anyone's watch. So, no, it's yeah, once yeah, you get obviously that. the transition, once you get through that tricky part, then, mm. um, yeah, you find your feet. Yeah, that's Is awesome. there any chance of seeing you out of retirement? Because I reckon you're fitter than you've ever been. Oh, God, you guys talk about it so much. <laughs> like, yeah, like I am, I've got myself fit and healthy and my diet is so much better than when it was <laughs> as a player, which is terrible. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Feeling fantastic. So, yeah, I've, and I obviously pulled on the boots for my local footy club this year because you get the itch still. Yeah. Like you can coach and be competitive on the sidelines, but... Getting into the battle, mm. like, it's fun. Like, yeah. I, I do enjoy it, but I don't reckon I'd be up to the standard of you guys. Oh, maybe. Mm. But um, as runner, um, I think people might have noticed now watching on the games that the handshakes post-goal. <laughs> c- c- can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, I think I started it with Dax because obviously she was going to kick a few goals. So I was like, I'll go, come on, we'll get we'll get this handshake <laughs> you, going. You want some air time? And now, <laughs> no, no, now everyone's like, oh, well, what about me? What about me? And God, how many have you got? <laughs> I've, got you have- I've got... Dax, Soph, you, mm-hmm. Nat, still waiting for that one. <laughs> still waiting. I really, really hope we get that one out because it's, it's good. Um, oh, and God. that's it at the moment. Um, that's still a lot to remember. On. you got to get one going. Well, I've had two goals, so. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't schedule a handshake. Jeez. I probably need to get around Courtney hotter Courtney, a bit. Oh, yeah, get a call cool on with her. Yeah, every time I go up to Courtney, she's blowing and she's like, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and I'm like, that was so good. Courtney's just like. Just leave, just leave. <laughs> get away, get away. Oh, okay. Well, that's um, a lot to remember. That's a lot. Mm. Well, thanks, Emma. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for chatting with me. We've got the best part of the day now. Ooh. It's quiz time. Oh. Kathy, I'm going to ask you to leave. It's it's the letter one. All right, I'm out. Get out of here as fast as <laughs> you can. I'm usually like sitting in the car listening to this and I am nailing You're it. You're nailing it? So well, now is your time to shine. This is the moment you've been waiting we'll see for. see what the pressure's like. All now. right, because it's 50 games, you've got 50 seconds, not a minute. Oh, okay. okay, so to sure. answer as many as you can. All right, you ready? Okay, so is your it, letter. you're giving me a letter. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving you a letter. Okay. All right. Your letter is S and we are beginning. A fruit. Um, squash. A pizza topping. Salami. Something you do for fun. Swimming. A country. Switzerland. A term of endearment. 
Um, oh, pass. A drink. Solo. A book. Um, um, oh, pass. Something you can wear. Shirt. A occupation. Um, surgeon. A cartoon character. Uh, SpongeBob. Things at a theme park. Swings. An athlete. Serena Williams. Things found on a desk. Um, I don't know. I was going to say shoes. And time. Scissors. Or scissors. I'll, I'll pay that. Can you get can you get Kathy? That wasn't that so great. Sorry. That wasn't that great. That was all right. I put some hard it's ones so in there. It's so hard when your brain just yeah, it's like, like. I think you know that you're under the pump. Do you know what I mean? I think you know the pressure's on. Oh. All right, yeah. Kathy, oh are you ready? Did you G, G up out there? No, I was just mellow. Oh, it, won't just be, mellow. it won't be hard. Actually, please. your right. photo, I was just looking at it. It's out there on the wall. So she, like, she, did really, she did really <laughs> well. She's sitting there like this. We, we had time to kill with Emma, so. Oh, oh, All okay, right, here we go. Your, your letter's S. You yes. ready? A fruit. Strawberry. A pizza topping. Sauce. Something you do for fun. Swim. A country. Sweden. A term of endearment. Sweet. A drink. Um... So, uh, something. Pass, pass, pass. <laughs> hey, book. <laughs> uh, under, perform under pressure. Something you can wear. Um, a top. Oh, yes. <laughs> Shirt. I know, it was like, <laughs> duh. <laughs> like, I'll give me attitude. O- occupation. Uh, student. Cartoon character. Uh, pass. Things at a theme park. Slide. An athlete. Uh, Sophie, come away. Things found on a desk. Uh, on a desk. Sharpener. Something you're afraid of. Uh, spiders. Time. Chew. Mm. That was good. You guys, I, the last one I had was heroes and then we were done. Oh, we, well, so we I did didn't well. even get to the things I'm afraid of. Yeah, Kathy's Ooh. definitely won that. Yeah, so, I mean? yeah, you won. Well, Woo! some of the answers. <laughs> what do you reckon? Like, what was the book? Perform under pressure. No, that didn't count. Oh, that didn't count because it starts with P. Yeah, I don't. I was but like, too much That's all I could think of. So I'm you reading pass, that how many pass, questions you get? You can get, yeah. Oh, not and the And you right pass answers. like three. Oh, what ones do you pass? I can think of a drink. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's actually the right answer. Yeah, solo. Oh. Um, all right, was that good? I was think good? I passed the book one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. That was a good one. That's a good question. Yeah, Thanks, guys. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Good, Val. Just looked up categories list <laughs> on uh, Google, <laughs> which was good. Quick, um, easy grab. Love that. Uh, before we wrap up today, I just have to shout out a little fan in the crowd. She came over to me after the game and she said, when's your next podcast, Val? And her name was Lucy and I said I wanted to shout her out. So shout out to you, Lucy. Oh, thanks for um, listening, Lucy. Thanks for listening. We love um, that. That one was for you. Hope you won the quiz. Hope you beat Emma. wasn't hard. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, Emma, thanks for being on with us today. Really Thank appreciate you it. so much for having me. Are we doing our recommendations <laughs> oh, before we kick her out? Yeah, sorry. Recommendations. Oh, yeah. Have you got any of them? Well, I've actually been doing this thing on Instagram where I'm giving recommendations to cafes for coffee. Oh, you are doing that. So I was going to flip it and get people to keep sending me uh, cafes to visit because Agnes and I just go on our morning walks if we got that. time and we go and visit. Giving these cafes reviews they didn't ask for, but um, I'm... <laughs> no one asked for them, actually. Not? I haven't had a bad coffee yet. So, yeah. Have you had a five out of five? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Polo did Espresso, Where so I'll give them a shout out. In Milton. Oh, yeah. Um, really good coffee, free dog treats. Just Ooh, really great. aesthetically looking too, so it's cute. Love that. Excellent. Um, mine's a book. Emma, actually, you gave it to me, so it's fitting you're here. The Untethered Soul. Like, oh, yeah. So yeah, good. I've, I've got one more chapter to go and, oh, just a great book, guys. Can't recommend it anymore. Um, love love that. that. It is. So thanks, thanks for passing it on. So good. I also have a book, which I just said before what it was form under pressure yeah that is a hate recommendation so it is yeah just breaking down a little bit how your brain works and um i guess your little the ways that it goes when you're in a pressure situation so it is uh, i think he gave very, me that book as well I yeah he's very probably good. passed it around yeah. he gave it to Sophie. he has and I, very good book yeah it is good i'm, I'm really book. enjoying it yeah, yeah yeah so that's another good one um well that's it guys that's it Oh, God, what a that great... That was easy. That yeah, was that so was good. good. Which is good Emma's chat. nickname, Easy. And easy. Zilky. We Zilks. love that. Thanks for <laughs> coming on today. Hi, thanks loved so it. much for having me. It's a great chat. Love it. Uh, we're down at Heritage Bank this weekend, Saturday at 4.05 versing Gold Coast. Mm-hmm. And then we are back 
next, next week, week against the Crows. Against the Feathers Crows. Feathers will fly is the title. Feathers games. will fly. Oh, that's the headline. <laughs> we also have Indigenous jerseys. Uh, are on sale as well so you can look online and grab one of those Uh, and lastly don't forget to like and subscribe to Between the Lions sweet see you next time guys see you next time no, was, was good. that good? Uh, yeah, really good. Probably one of the best ones ever. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. Can we get that? Can we get that on the best ones ever? <laughs> Sorry, everyone else who's been on the podcast. <laughs> I did oh, yes. But we have the funniest person in the world oh, yeah. on She's the podcast. <laughs> so many lols have happened.